Tungiasis, a distressing skin condition caused by female sand fleas burrowing into the skin to lay eggs, manifests as painful, itchy lesions characterized by white circles with black dots in the center. Although commonly affecting the feet, these lesions can emerge anywhere on the body. Historical records trace the first report of tungiasis back to the 1500s when Christopher Columbus's crew developed the condition after shipwrecking on the Caribbean island of Haiti. Typically found in sandy areas like beaches, warm, dry soil in livestock stables, farms, and tropical and subtropical regions like Africa, India, Latin America, and Pakistan, these fleas can also hitch rides on animal fur. Tungiasis predominantly affects impoverished individuals residing in rural areas, remote villages, and shanty towns, especially those who go barefoot. Children assigned male at birth, AMAB, between 5 and 14 years old and the elderly are particularly susceptible, with approximately 8 in 10 disadvantaged children in affected regions developing tungiasis. The condition is contracted through direct contact with sand fleas or by touching infested animals, primarily those like pigs, cows, dogs, cats, and rats. Female sand fleas, laden with eggs, create an opening in the skin's outer layer, epidermis, by biting and clawing, subsequently burrowing into the middle layer, dermis, to feed on blood from blood vessels. The eggs are nourished by the host's blood, and the flea obtains oxygen through the bite opening. Over approximately six weeks, the sand flea grows larger with eggs and blood, eventually laying up to 100 eggs before dying and falling off. After four days, the eggs hatch into larvae, which mature into adult sand fleas in about four weeks, perpetuating the cycle. Initial symptoms of tungiasis include the characteristic white circular lesions with black dots in the center, often accompanied by itching, pain, redness, swelling, and inflammation. Complications such as bacterial infections, cellulitis, gangrene, and tetanus can arise, particularly from scratching at the affected area. Diagnosis is typically made through skin examination, while treatment involves the removal of the burrowed sand flea by a healthcare professional using sterilized tools or other proven methods. Prevention strategies include wearing closed-toe shoes, long pants, and insect repellents when traveling to areas where sand fleas are prevalent. Overall, Prompt medical attention is crucial to mitigate the risk of infections and complications associated with tungiasis. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.